Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial on Looker Studio. Today we are going to create a channel analysis report for Google Analytics for using Looker Studio. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. It helps me tremendously to create new content. Now that you've done that, hopefully let's actually continue. So the first step as usual, we're going to access our Looker Studio. Now, because some of you are new with Looker Studio and probably are doing this step for the first time, what you need to do is you need to click here on blank report. If this is the first time that you do this, you will need to fill in some basic details about your business. The next step is you're going to come on this screen. You need to select Google Analytics as simple as it sounds. And once you select Google Analytics, find your GA4 property, your account, select your property and go all the way down on the right corner and click on add. So this is the first step. And now we establish a connection between GA4 and Looker Studio. Now what we're going to do is we're going to learn the fundamentals of Looker Studio. So some of you are probably very well aware of, let's say, how you add elements, how you customize them. So you can skip to the later part of the video. For those of you who are new, how it works on the top we have this button that is called insert. We're going to click on insert and let's actually play around to get familiar with the tool. We're going to add a rectangle. This is going to be a header for our report. And we're going to make this rectangle from the right hand side. Basically we add elements and then we customize them from the right hand side. We're going to make it blue this time. Then I'm going to click here on insert. I'm going to select text. I'm going to add some text here in the middle. I'm going to call this test tunnel analysis report because this is what we're going to do together today. We are going to click here and customize it and make, let's say, the letters a little bit bigger and bold and align everything in the middle. And now that you grab the fundamentals of how this tool works is actually drag and drop very easy. You insert elements from the insert button and then you customize them from the right hand side. Let's actually create a channel report. The first thing I want you to do is click on insert, add some scorecards. Scorecard is basically single metrics. And I want you to add all the metrics that are relevant to your entire customer journey. So what this means is we're going to start with sessions. I added one scorecard here. I'm going to go all the way on the right. And I'm going to actually say here sessions. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste this scorecard. And then I'm going to add, let's say, a second metric. For example, views, page views. So this is visibility on my website. Then I'm going to add another scorecard. And I'm going to say this is the event count, the soft KPIs, basically on my website. Then I'm going to duplicate this scorecard and I'm going to change this to conversions, the hard KPIs. Now, for those of you who want something more specific, you can add filters on the event count and conversions and report exactly on the actions that you want to see in this report. Then I'm going to copy, not really copy, actually select everything, go on the right hand side where it says comparison date range and click on compare with previous period because I want to get an indicator here underneath my scorecards that compares the date range that I'm looking at versus the previous period. Now you're going to say, what is the date range? We're going to click on insert. We're going to scroll down and add a date range control. So now that I have a date range control, I can actually compare with the previous period. I can select my date range here, maybe let's say this year to date. And these indicators are going to compare with the previous period. Now we want to have a channel analysis. So what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is we are going to click insert here and we are going to add a table. And this table is going to follow the same structure with our scorecards, meaning we're going to follow the customer journey. So on the right hand side, we're going to change the dimension to session default channel group, the top level performance of all my channels. So you can see here we have organic search, direct referral and so forth. And then we're going to go to metrics and we're going to add all the metrics following the customer journey. So sessions, views, event count, 
conversions, and that's the metrics that we're going to add. Now, a couple of things with tables. What I like to do is click here on chart and convert everything to heat maps because it makes it a lot easier for me to understand which channels are performing and which channels are generating the most traffic, views, soft KPIs, hard KPIs. The second thing that I like to do is I like to scroll here under the setup column and under comparison date range, compare with the previous period and click on apply. And the next thing that I like to do is basically scroll a little bit up and click on show summary row so we can have the aggregation of the performance of all the channels. So now we have a nice table here that shows the top level performance of all the channels that drive traffic to my website. And that's the starting point. Now we need to do a couple more things here to make a more meaningful report, right? What I want you to do is scroll a little bit further down. Now we run out of space already. So we're going to come here before we do that. Click on page, current page settings, click on style and add some more space, 3000 pixels. So now we have a lot more space to play with. And what we're going to do is click on insert and add a pie chart and paste it here. So why I want you to add a pie chart? First of all, I'm going to click on chart and convert it into a donut chart because I like it better. The first pie chart is going to be the dimension session default channel grouping. So the channels that drive traffic on the site and the metric is going to be sessions. Then you're going to copy this pie chart and then create a second one. And the second one, you're going to change this to event count or the soft KPI of your choice. And you're going to copy it a third time and you are going to paste it here and you're going to change this to convergence or the hard KPI of your choice. These three pie charts now are going to help you understand the contribution of the different channels to your bottom line. So the first pie chart is relevant to where the traffic is coming from. The second pie chart is relevant to which channels are driving key actions. And the third pie chart is relevant to which channels are driving conversions. So let me add here some labels so you can actually remember everything clearly. So the first pie chart is basically where is the traffic coming from percentage wise. This is what the first pie chart is telling you here. So you understand basically here the majority of the traffic is coming, let's say on my website organically. The second pie chart is going to be relevant to where are the key actions coming from. So we're going to label it here accordingly. So where are the key actions coming from? And the third pie chart is relevant to where are the hard KPIs coming from? So where are the business outcomes coming from? Right, so where are the business outcomes coming from? And the purpose of having these three pie charts here is for you to understand if there are certain channels that despite driving a lot of traffic, they are not pulling their weight or they are not really producing any business outcomes or key actions and vice versa. Sometimes there are channels that generate very little traffic, but percentage wise, they drive a lot of hard KPIs. They produce a lot of business outcomes. So this is what I call very often hidden gems. The next thing you need to do is this is the top level, right? So we have the top level performance of our website. We have the default channel grouping here as a breakdown. And then we have here the three pie charts that help you to understand basically the performance of different channels, their contribution to traffic, soft KPIs and hard KPIs. The next thing you need to do is you need to deep dive into every specific channel. So organic search, referral, paid search, paid social, and so forth. And in order to do that, we are going to add a new page. Actually, I'm not going to add a new page. I'm going to duplicate the existing one. So I'm going to click here on the three dots and duplicate the existing one. So the first page here is my channel overview, channel performance overview. The second page here is going to be my channel performance deep dive. Not really sure here why 
Okay. And then the third page we don't need, so I'm going to delete it. So on the channel performance deep dive now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down into the source slash medium. So I'm going to change the dimension of my table here to source. Session source. And then okay, session source, not the source. So session source, here we go. And then I'm going to do the same here for my pie charts. So I'm going to change the dimension here to session source. And the next thing I'm going to do basically here is I am going to add a drop down, basically a list, a selector. So I'm going to click on insert. I'm going to add a drop down list. I'm going to place it here. And then from the right hand side, I'm going to go and change the filter from session source to session default channel grouping. And one more thing maybe that you want to do, if you want to have a complete report with everything that matters, is maybe you can also create three column charts here. So the first column chart is going to be session source as a dimension and then sessions. No session source, sorry, month as a dimension here and then sessions. And you're going to sort it by month in an ascending order. The second column chart here is going to be your event count, your soft KPIs, again sorted by month. And the third column chart, again, is going to have the same uh, exact, basically, format. But instead of event count, it's going to report on convergence, which is going to be your hard KPIs, the business outcome, right? So this is going to be our trend line. And you're going to see in a minute where we're going to go with with this setup, right? So let me actually beautify a little bit my, my report here. So we're going to actually have these three trend lines here. Also, maybe we can go to style. We need 12 bars because a year has 12 months. And now if we actually select here this year to date, for example, or last year, what we're going to see is that these trend lines basically are going to show me the trend line of my website performance. Now, what we are looking at is all traffic. The reason why we added this selector on the top here is because we can click on this selector and we can narrow down only, for example, to organic search. And once we narrow down only to organic search, now we have a report that everything is relevant to organic search, meaning top level performance is the traffic that is coming from organic search. Then you have a table here that you can see the search engines that are driving the majority of traffic. Then you have the three pie charts where the traffic is coming from, where the key actions are coming from, and where the business outcomes are coming from, only narrowed down to organic search. And then here you can see the trend line for this specific channel. And subsequently, what you can do is you can click here and let's actually do the same thing for referrals. And we can actually have the same report here narrowing down deep dive basically into referral traffic. So top level referral traffic, where the referral traffic is coming from. And then here where the traffic is coming from percentage wise, key actions percentage wise, business outcomes percentage wise, and trend line. So this is your deep dive. So when you are creating a channel analysis report, there you need to have two pages here in Looker Studio. One is the overview. So this is the top level performance of the different channels on your website. And the second one here is the deep dive. The deep dive, we have this selector, and then we narrow down basically to a specific channel group, and then everything else reports on the source. So we can actually deep dive and we can see what exactly is performing for every default channel group. That's it. That's how you can create a complete channel analysis report from your Google Analytics 4 inside Looker Studio. If you like this video and you found value, please subscribe and like. It helps tremendously, as I always tell you, to create more content. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video.